hi friends welcome to my channel and this is the sixth video of, of windows server 2016 tutorial step by step and this video i'm going to show you how to install and configure windows server 2016 core core edition so let's have some idea about my demo environment and my demo environment i have previously installed two domain controller which is win2k16 dc01 and win2k16 dc02 if you want to check out here is my DC01 I have installed Active Directory and DNS role on this server and on the second server I have installed DC and DNS also in this machines so and next machine I have created one blank new machine on my workstation which is win2k16 hyphen core 01 on this machine I have is uh, assigned 4 GB of RAM you can verify 4 GB of RAM and I'm going to install the Windows Server 2016 Core Edition on this machine. After the after the installation done, I am going to do some basic uh, configuration like configuring IP address, uh, joining machine in domain, uh, and doing all the basic stuff. So let's go to my virtual machine. I'm going to click Edit and CD DVD drive. I'm going to mount my ISO file for Windows Server 2016 under the ISO Windows Server 2016 I'm going to uh, install Windows Server 2016 technical preview 4 so I'm going to browse it ok and power on the machine the same procedure you can uh, follow to build a physical machine or a virtual machine on any environment like Hyper-V, uh, ESX, uh, VMware or Citrix Zen servers. The same procedure to build a virtual machine for the core edition. So at here Windows Server 2016 TP4 click next install now so the f we are going to deploy this machine as a as uh, without GUI option the core option so I am going to select the first one if you want to install with uh, Windows Server 2016 with GUI option you can you have to select the second option which is desktop experience so I am going to install without GUI so it does not include a GUI so good click next uh, I accept the license terms next and custom I'm going to use my full disk as a C drive so going to click on next so now you can verify the installation is started it will take 10 or 15 minutes to get the installation complete for Windows Server 2016 once the installation is complete it will be come back and uh, we will get the screen for con uh, hit the control to Dell to log into server so I'm pausing the recording here once the installation is are done we are the control to dull skin I will be back with the same so we are at the uh, screen of the password change I am going to click on ok I am going to put my password here for local administrator account which is already created on server changing password for administrator account and now I am going to click on Control to adult to unlock the machine and I'm going to put my password and it's applying user settings preparing 
desktop it will take one or two minutes to get the uh, command prompt window for personalized settings for user account like you can verify the personalized setting and these things going on for the server after the login so we got the command prompt and you can verify this is the code installation and I am going to click on S config hit enter so here is the option for server configuration you can verify there is 15 options total in server server configuration wizard so I am going to do by step by step so first I am going to type 2 and rename computer I am going to hit enter and I am going to define my new name when case 16 code 0 1 hit enter and you must to apply computer change to restart and I'm going to click on no I'm not going to restart right now and now I'm going to configure fourth option configure remote management is enable and you can verify it's enable disable configure server response ping so I'm going to first select third to enable the ping for the remote computers successfully configure to allow ping okay so return to four we have done with two and fourth and I'm going to click on f select five windows update settings I'm going to s update settings manually select M enter disabling automatic updates you can verify it's running so windows disable is set to manual update is set to manual system will never check for update so and now I'm going to draw s uh, allow the remote desktop connection I'm going to select 7 and enable rec remote desktop allow only computers running windows with a network level authentication s select 1 enter so enabling the remote desktop remote desktop enable with the client remote desktop with the network level authentication more secure perfect okay so you can verify and now I am going on network setting by typing 8 and hit enter so you can verify we have only one NIC added uh, connected to the server so I am going to select the index number 1 and now I am going to you can verify here is some detail for NIC so I am going to select one set network adapter address I'm going to use the static so type S and I'm going to define my IP address for the server 192.168.252 hit enter and the default subnet mask and the default gateway I'm going to type so you can verify our IP address subnet mask and default gateway is configured I'm going to type 2 and enter so I can define my subnet mask 254 preferred DNS and the alternate DNS is 253 so both are added you can verify the settings so I'm going to click on 4 return to main menu and now it's time to click 9 type 9 and date and time settings I'm going to select my time zone here for New Delhi for India Chennai Kolkata Mumbai New Delhi perfect and now I'm go if you want to check out you can verify the display license information with the option 11 windows activation install product key activate windows these things so I don't require these things right now so I'm going to return to my main menu <coughs> and we have done these things and finally I'm going to join this machine in my domain by typing 1 hit enter my you are going to join this machine in domain or work group so I'm going to join in domain so D hit enter so join domain name of the domain I'm going to type my domain name victor info soul dot 
local and it will ask for credentials so I'm going to tip, type my credential for joining this machine in domain with emphasis slash admin and the password for administrator account which is typed and unknown username it might be a wrong username and password I am going to this again so victor info soul slash victor info soul dot local victor info soul administrator hit enter and my password so here we are do you want to change the computer name before restarting the computer no we have already changed the computer name and you want to restart the computer to apply changes yes I am going to restart my computers to apply changes and the same time if I go to one of the my DC ActiveDirect user sense computers and here you can verify we have joined the machine in domain but the name is random name which is before the resta restarting the server so once the server is restarted you can verify the name with win 2 k 16 core 01 so just wait to restart the computer So we are at the login screen. I am going to hit Control to Dell and going to log into server and type s config. So the name is not reflected here. So I am going to change the name once again. I am going to type win 2 k 16 the reason why the name is not changed because after the re uh, rejoining machine in domain we did not uh, rename the computer so it's it's like override the uh, previous one so I'm going to select the specified the administrator name so vector info soul administrator and my password for administrator account so you must need to restart the computer to change effect yes I'm going to restart the machine and now once the machine is restarted you can verify the host name is uh, changed to win2k16 core01 and the machine is rebooting so the machine name is, re uh, is changed in our active directory structure here you can verify the same on my second DC and now I'm going to move this to India under the servers so you can verify now we have this machine in under India or you servers So applying computer settings so press control to tell to login I'm going to hit control to tell my credential and here we are going to type once again as config and we have checked almost everything and I'm going to do the third option add local administrator to this machine so I'm going to type my 
for this I am going to create one user account under the India you uh, so user username is server admin and I'm going to use a cannot change password never expire and finish oops server admin and display name is server admin everything is ok now so now I'm going to here and type my you you need to type a domain environment to specify your domain and user so I'm going to type my domain name vector info soul and my password is uh, my user account name which is server admin so the command completed successfully and now if I log off to machine from this machine F12 and I'm going to control to Dell hit escape to switch users so I'm going to click escape skip and I'm going to log in with other users and and the name I am going to type server admin and the password for this account you can verify my domain name is already given there vector info soul and hit enter so it's loading the profile for my new user which is server admin you can verify personalized setting and these things and and if I go to type who am I you can verify vector info so slash server admin so this all about the installation and basic configuration of a uh, oh, core core windows server 2016 core edition so if you have any query any question related to this you can mail me on my given mail IDs and please subscribe me for more videos hope you guys will enjoy my few others video related to core server configuration and like installation the roles and feature on on the co core servers like hyper v roles and ad and dns role so keep watching please subscribe me for more videos thanks once again bye bye